All right. So what, what do you want people to check out? So you can go check out my single crying in Calabasas. Um, I'm only saying this because my dad is pushing me to say this. Onlyfans.com slash Jesse Bray Taylor. Your my, dad is pushing me. So my to dad, say that. so I told my dad I was coming on here. He was he's gonna be watching this whole thing. So uh-huh. please try to edit me as a person. What's up, as Pops? <laughs> Um, he was like, you know, if you go there, I want to see you with a shirt that says onlyfans.com slash Jesse Taylor, Jesse Ray Taylor and a hat and everything. He's like, dad, I'm not doing that. It's kind of (laughs) trashy. I was like, dad, he's like, who cares? Just be a sellout. I'm like, dad, he's like, go make money. I was like, I don't care. Like, no, like I'm good. Like, no, thank you. Like, I just don't care. Yeah. If they want it, like, it's not like I'm known for doing it. Let me guess. You have a link tree in the Instagram bio. I do. Yeah. Like every other girl. But. Like, I kind of keep it kind of like, I'm not talking about it. I'm not crazy about it. If people want to, like, if they know I have an OnlyFans, they have an OnlyFans. I'm not going to say, hey, go subscribe to my OnlyFans. Like, I'm not, if it, you know, could do whatever you want, honestly. Right. So. How do you promote it, though? I think it's just, like, the same people. Mm. And, like, maybe, like, people from TikTok that went to my Instagram and clicked the link in the bio. Are you done doing the skits and the TikTok shit? Um, Yeah. I would say just because just over it. I like I don't do vlogs anymore. I used to like vlog all the time. I don't do streams anymore. I don't do TikTok. I'm just over the internet. I mm. grew up. I just want to make music. So this is your retirement from the internet interview. <laughs> you just want to be taken <laughs> serious as an artist now. Yeah, basically. But you know, I'm very talented. Mm. I'm very confident when I say that. I believe I can be great. And despite my crazy, wild past. You know, everyone, no one stays the same. Everyone grows up, everyone changes, you know, and I feel the most mature, the most stable, financially stable. I'm really happy at this point in life. And even if I do become a single mom, which probably is going to happen if I keep the baby, uh-huh. that's oh, so totally it's still fine an if me. you'll keep the baby right now, you might still, yeah, it just, you know, my dad and, you know, other people are advising me like, what are you doing? Like this guy is like cheating on you and How old you know. Are you? I'm 25. I'm about to be 26 in three days. I feel like you should probably not have the baby if it's an option. Yeah, um, I can go tomorrow if I want. And I was ready. I had the nursery in my house. I mean, it's whatever you feel ready yeah, for. Yeah, just. But I feel like if I have this baby, like I am, I don't, th- I don't see myself dating for a few years. You're still young. You're still. Um, it's gonna like shape your whole fucking life. If you're not gonna be with the guy, I feel like it's probably. It's gonna be a pretty hard. You decision. have you have Lena to help you. You know. Yeah, yeah. We planned it out. You know. You I waited till I was fucking thirty six or thirty seven to have a kid. Yeah. You know. And you know what? You probably go like my dad goes to Disney all the time. My dad has um with his girlfriend. Yeah, New it's children. the most important thing in the world to me, and I mm-hmm. guarantee you that if I had a kid when I was 21 or whatever, that I would have been the shittiest fucking dad. I would have been totally really? absent, just like all the rappers that I know, and I would have tried to stay in touch, but ultimately, I just, like, yeah. I was too ambitious. I wasn't going to fucking do it, and it's, it's just going to hold you back like crazy. And That's what, you know, a lot of people are telling me. Yeah. It just, it was something, you know, as, like, a woman, like, you know, I felt like, oh, my God, I'm getting old. I'm almost 30. Like, my time is ticking. You know, so I was just like, I just want to have a kid, like, you know, and he gave me it. And then once it came, like, once I said I'm pregnant, totally switched up on me, even though it was planned. I'm going to be real with you. Like, you know, that mentality you have to get into when you are breaking up with a guy. Yeah. Where it's like, this is going to hurt. I don't want to be a kid to this person, but I'm going to have to be kind of cruel and just really to just cut it to, off to just cut it off. I'm yeah. just going to have to cut and it off. And I think that's what's going on. Well, I, yeah. That's kind of yeah. how I, I think of the baby It's yeah. like, yeah, you don't want to kill this little motherfucker. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's just not the right time. It's not, yeah. you're, you're not going to be with the guy. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. Honestly, I have like one, I have tonight to kind of make that decision. Yeah. So, uh, it's, no, it's, it's going to be really I don't, I don't hard. I don't push yeah. it too hard in one direction. No, or the yeah. Other. And I, I appreciate your advice. Mm. I definitely, you know, take it into consideration. You're not the only one to tell me this. But, you know, it really sucks that he was my, it even hurts even more. He was my best friend. You know, we did a mm. lot of things together. I felt like he was somebody I could confide in, somebody I could trust. And the thing is, I get confused as many people in, you know, that have some type of fame do. 
is that even if you've known somebody for a long time, that doesn't, you know, mean that you should trust them with everything in you. A little bonus reason mm-hmm. that I would say maybe you should do that is that I don't think anybody who thinks that you should choose your own fucking gender should be having kids. <laughs> that like, is a good point. Listen, if you end up wanting to change your gender once yeah. you get a bit older, then I. And he I, called me transphobic. Sure. That's for that, like about. that's crazy. And obviously, you'd probably be raising the kid without him, but still, like, and I don't know. It's just yeah, such a perverted just, way of. I just about and the I world. said, why are you trying to like manifest that? And I called my dad. And I was like, Dad, like I'm he's losing it. Like you know, my dad called him and he was like, Yeah, so like your daughter, like you know, she doesn't accept what what might happen. And my dad's like, Well, why are you talking about an unborn child like that? Like right. what is wrong with you? So my dad even stepped in and was like what you're saying is totally wrong. Mm -hmm. And you know, where my family is like very conservative and I do consider myself a conservative. Um, and I just, I don't, I, I wouldn't want that for my kid. You know, people that are in that lifestyle, they have kind of like, you know, hard stuff and I will be friends with those people. I I love some of my closest friends in my life are gay, Mm -hmm. but do I want my kid to be like that? (laughs) <laughs> you, no. you don't need to be making a decision <laughs> about what your kid's going to be doing yeah. in terms of that. And they're not like, you know, so it's whatever. I, you know, I have a little time to think about it. And, you know, if I want to do this on my own, I can do it on my own. I have a house. I have a two story house in Tennessee that I can easily raise the kid with. But it's the time and it's being by myself. I'm going to end up on some kind of conservative watchdog list because I just told you that I think you should have an abortion. But hey. <laughs> That's just my real advice. It's okay. Um, Jesse, uh, yeah. I, you seem like you're in a pretty decent spot Thank in your you life. Thank you so much. There really is part that. of me that doesn't know what the fuck to think of you, <laughs> but there's another part of me that empathizes with you and wants to see you do well in life. Thank you so much. And either way, you're a very fascinating person. So oh, I felt thank like you. Was, I think you're so fascinating. Interview. Thank you. You I have hair it, now. I do. Since last time I seen you. Shout out to you the miracle bald. of modern technology that got me two hair transplants. Really? I'm about to get a third too, I think. Really? Congratulations. I got to find somebody who's down to do it for free. Yeah. Like Taika, like how they went, did the hair transplant overseas in I'm Turkey. I'm not going to Turkey though. I did my last one in <laughs> Beverly Hills and it's way better than having to go really? overseas and do it. Yeah. That's cool. Well, tell Lena I said hi. For sure. I hope your daughter, all the best for your daughter. What they used to call you, Lena the slug? They do. <laughs> they still call me that. So, okay, now before we add, do we have to explain this? Lena would never support that kind of bullying for the record. So, basically, people used to call me in the stream days, and they still do. I I get the slug. I literally made merch out of it because Mm -hmm. people were making fun of me. But Lena is beautiful. I never saw it as, like, an insult. They just thought I was the Walmart version of Lena. Lena, (laughs) That's all it was. Lena identifies as a slug because the college that she went to, their mascot is the banana slugs. The banana slugs. So Lena is a slug in her own way. Really? She accepts that. She identifies as a slug. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I never thought of it as an insult. I kind of thought it was like, oh, I'm like... When they're saying this, they're just like, oh, she looks similar to her, but she's like the Walmart version. Plus, Lena's a lot bigger than me, so, you know... At that time, people were like, oh, she just, the, the right. cheaper version of Lena. So. It's all right, yeah. 